What's going on guys? You're asking here today. We're back to EVE Online. All right, so we have to open our wallet to view our transaction history. So we have our overview. You can view the total balance of ISK in your possession. Your recent market transactions will show you how much ISK you acquired by selling the ore. The highlighted entry shows how much money you received from AIR in exchange for the ore. The wallet offers a wealth of information. It provides a convenient location to view your recent transactions, track your market history, or audit your accounts. Whenever an item is sold in New Eden, a tax is applied to that sale. The market entry displays your most recent transaction tax. Once you've finished gazing at your newfound riches, close your wallet and inventory. It's time. As good as they are, it'll take some time for my team to hack through the encryptions on the box. You might as well use this time to explore what New Eden has to offer. The AIR Career Program will help you on your journey. All right, so that'll be up here in the top left. ...available to you have been organized into four career paths. Enforcers work for New Eden's factions, fighting off pirates and other threats. Explorers investigate the cluster's hidden corners, hacking systems and uncovering secrets. Soldiers of Fortune band together to fight other capsuleers in the lawless reaches beyond high security space. Industrialists turn a profit by harvesting the materials and building the machines that make life in space possible. Choose the path you want to explore first. Your choice won't limit you, and you can explore as many different paths as you like. I feel like these three are better for like early game content, and especially like the industrialist. I feel like this one's going to be just like a little bit more easy to do compared to like everybody else. But then first is probably a little bit more action. The major factions that rule New Eden have established career agents. Complete missions from them to earn new skills modules, ISK, and even ships, making them both lucrative and educational. Track the goal of completing a mission for the career agent to add it to your info panel. Okay, so complete mission one. Missions offered by the career agents offer a variety of rewards, including new skills, ships, modules, money, in the form of ISK. Follow this link to the agency window, where you can locate your nearest career agent. No matter what path you choose, you will find a career agent who can help you walk it. Once you've chosen an agent, set your destination. Enforcer pilots live for war, wielding unimaginable destructive forces that daily reforge the landscape of New Eden. Join this career if you enjoy lasers, missiles, and generally making sure that someone else has a really bad day. Recommended skill pin. Before heading to this career agent, it is recommended that you start training this AR... Certified skill plan, Air Min Matar Enforcer. It is not required, but it will unlock useful ship and modules and improve your efficiency over time. Close the ACP in order to proceed. Now, can I just click on you and it takes it there? Starts raining. And Captain, thank you. Your help has been invaluable. Our investigation is still in the early stages, but I have two theories. The attack may have been motivated by simple greed. Air has no shortage of competitors. Some would kill to acquire our groundbreaking technology. Literally. A more worrying possibility is that someone is trying to stop us from pursuing our research. While Air takes pride in disrupting the corporate tech scene, there are those who think we push the limits of innovation too far. The technology suppression laws in New Eden are draconian, if you ask me. Here's hoping this mystery box has the answers we need. Once my team has cracked it open, I'll be in touch. Much appreciated, Miss Calatrix. I await any and all updates with bated breath. Metaphorically speaking, of course, I don't breathe. Captain, when you're ready, we can undock and begin the next phase of our journey. I do wonder how you'll die next. I suppose that is what ancient philosophers called morbid curiosity. I don't trust you. You seem like the AI from specifically like iRobot. I don't know. She's giving me like an iRobot vibe. Starts off kind of friendly. They'll turn on you in an instant. 
Now that no one is actively trying to kill us, I will teach you how to navigate in space. The primary mode of interstellar travel through New Eden is via Stargates. We will proceed to our destination through these Stargates. First, select the destination I've highlighted in your overview. Stargates are also called jump gates because of the way ships seem to jump between distant locations. Now, initiate jumping to your destination. I will say this game looks super we are cool. making our way through high security space under the control of the Min Matar Republic. That should mean that we are free from any immediate peril. Though please note my emphasis is on the word should. See, I don't know. I feel like she's just leading us into a trap to blow up. All right, so it looks like there's some different language mobile deposits that we have around here. Uh, you want us to jump again? Drive active. Where do we just end up then? Seven tribes unite to form the Min Matar Republic. They have been in conflict with the Amar Empire since they broke free from its control during the Great Rebellion. They are currently at war, but it is mostly restricted to low security space. As a capsuleer, you will be safe from the conflict. That is, unless you choose to enlist. I think we've already chosen to enlist, haven't we? Shop the location. All right, so it's automatically going to be jumping to the right area. So that's good. So once we get there, we have to talk to the Eden career agent and complete the mission. To initiate the docking sequence, Captain. All right, so that'd be up here. Warp drive active. This is a very unfortunate position because you're like staring right into the sun. <laughs> All right, so there we go. We're, we're heading to the Republic University. This sort of looks like the place that we initially started out as. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. So I think we just did like a big giant loop to get to another main facility. A conversation with an agent. I'm sure they will love you. And if they don't, they will simply have to tolerate you. I can deal with that. They can tolerate us. All right, so hold on. So we wanted to do the or not soldiers enforcer. Your choice of career agent will not limit you in any way. You can choose to work with multiple agents, but let's focus on just one for now. To begin the next phase of what I'm sure will be an illustrious career, accept a mission. See, the thing is, I feel like you probably should start out with the combat guy for the enforcer mainly because it will upgrade your ship's weaponry and then whenever you do the industrialist if you get jumped at least you'll have like a little bit of a more of a fighting chance compared to before because so i'm guessing the other one you're just going to get a little bit more rewards hold on what are you see this guy just gets the isk it doesn't actually do anything compared to the enforcer that actually gets you like weaponry and i feel like the weaponry is important using skill plans to guide your progression will make your life easier and prove rewarding as you explore different career opportunities, you will find skill plans tailored to match your evolving goals. Career agents will sometimes reward capsuleers with new ships. It is wise to have the skills required for those ships in your training queue. We're almost ready to embark on our new adventure. Now is the perfect time to close any windows you no longer need on your display. Could the pirates from the asteroid belt as your agent has requested on behalf of a group of miners. Missions you have accepted or been offered are added to your opportunities interface. Open it to take a look. Here you can view the mission briefing, objectives and rewards. When you are ready, you may close the window. Angel Cartel has thugs that are harassing miners in a nearby asteroid belt. Let's clean up the area. Make sure to keep the target within your weapons range and try not to give them a stationary target. Clear the pirates from the asteroid belt as your agent has requested on behalf of a group of miners. See, we end up sort of helping the miners out anyways. Now, if you guys haven't seen the first episode, I would probably start with that one because it's a little bit more of an introduction area. We're still super early game though, so this is going to be a little bit of a learning curve on what we're supposed to be doing inside the game. It does not look like you can actually fly your ship properly. It's going to be mostly 
setting the ship in a orbit and then you're following around in that way. All right, so let's go and warp to the site. Wait, what? You can go in first person? They have several different camera views. All right, so this is much cooler. All right, hostile targets remain. So we have this hijacker over here, 37 kilometers away. So we have a couple different options here. So you can warp to within the area. You can keep at range or you can orbit. So orbit's going to have your ship following the target around it in a circle, basically, which is going to allow our weaponry to actually lock on. Now he's 100 meters away, so we can activate the afterburners to catch up to him. Once again, we're using a class one cannon, so we can't really do too much damage, but we'll be able to get a little bit of extra speed on. That'd be cool if I could actually set the weapons to manually shoot. But I do like this better camera view here, because you can actually see what's going on much more effectively. All right, so he's still 20 kilometers away, but we're slowly closing in here. So we have lock onto target, and this is where our weaponry comes into play. Perfect. All right, so we'll activate boat. Oh, that's just their mining. So we only have the civilian Gatlin auto cannon for the early stage gameplay here. And as long as we're orbiting him from the backside, he shouldn't be able to do too much to us. Looks like we are sticking within relatively the same speed, and you can see his health bar at the top right here. So he has 79% shield remaining, armor is remaining. We're going to be automatically orbiting around him. So maybe it is better in like this camera view. So they have a couple different options here. So you can do a tactical camera, you can do an orbital camera, or you can do the first person. So our ship's going to be this little guy right here against this very large ship. Looks like we are starting to lower their shields down. We've taken minimal damage and the bounty is completed. All right, hostile remaining two out of three. So we have to let's click on you. So let's lock on a target and orbit. All right, so hold on. So we should be locked on one of these guys, right? All right, so we're moving into it. We've got to turn our weapons on. We are taking a little bit of damage here, so we have a way to turn the speed if we need to. I'll put it in first person just to see the combat all the way through. So I think this would be kind of cool. We should be able to like minimize you. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I do wish that I could kind of control the ships a little bit better. We have our weaponry automatically selected here, so this is going to do four explosive damage and three hit points whenever it does break the shields. I would say that it's a little bit better to have it so everything's minimized, but I think it might be better to have that many open so you can at least swap between like the orbiting and stuff, but I'm pretty sure that we are automatically locked on when the menu is closed anyways. Yeah, we're doing good. We're just super weak, so it's going to take a little bit to actually kill the guys. It's a very chill, calm game, if you guys haven't noticed. Or at least in the very beginning stages. Alright, so his health has to be getting low, right? Looks like we haven't done too much damage to him, actually. Our weapons are fully attacking him, so we can't really do anything else. We just have to hope that the shields start going down. Looks like we've got a critical hit going down because his health is rapidly declining. By the way, this is on an alpha account now. I was on Omega before. This is now just the fully free to play version of the game. So I want to see what it's actually like. So if you closed out your HUD and you're trying to figure out how to find your opponent, whenever you go into the tactical camera, you can zoom all the way out or in, and it'll show them all the way on the map here. So you see it's signified by the little red mark. So you're actually able to right click. You want to click on orbit. So it's going to default to a thousand meters. So we'll do that. When we get closer, we'll be able to lock onto the target. And now we'll be able to actually fight the final ship inside the area here. Now we were at the mining station's ruins, so we were about 3,000 meters away, I believe. So I don't think we were too far from. Our ship should be slowly approaching here. 
Now, whenever we get close enough, we are going to want to lock onto the target, turn the cannons on, and begin the battle. All right, so once again, he's using a... Oh, this one seems much weaker. His shields are already dropping. Yeah, the only thing this game is missing is I really wish that I could take over the ship's, like, full controls and actually, like, do it myself. But it is kind of cool being able to have, like, a tactical camera view of it around and have the game sort of do it for you. Because then it sort of makes you more of, like, the general sort of ordering the issues to the person instead of actually being the person to do it. All right, so we got another 3000 ISK, and I believe that is everybody. So now we can dock. Warp drive active. Yeah, so once again, if you close out that window just to clear out the clear on your screen, if you go into tactical camera view, you can at least still find the enemies. It's not like you're going to be stuck flying around in space with nowhere to figure it out how to do. All right, so now that we are back inside the area, we want to start a conversation and we should be able to complete the mission. We'll get a much stronger auto cannon. You can access the Air Career program via your Neocom. Excellent work, Cretaceous. I'll have the miners return to work. See me when you're ready for the next assignment. All right, so that'd be you. Claim all. Close the ACP in order to proceed. I must say, Captain, you've handled yourself remarkably well. If you find yourself confused as you explore the stars, there is a help section available in the agency. Here, you can learn more about being a new Eden Capsuleer. For now, you can close the agency. Though there are thousands of copies of Aura in New Eden, I am glad to be your Aura. Have I said too much? My sentimentality protocols may need adjusting. Now it's time for you to venture out into the stars. Go forth and show you, Eden, what you are truly made of. All right, so let's get back inside of our skill tree here. So two hours, 15, so I don't think we're able to fully equip that yet. All right, so we took off our, close this guy out, boom, right click, and now we should be able to, we can compare, reprocess, or fit to active ship. Since we took off our civilian cannon, now we should have a normal cannon to do much more damage. Or that's the plan, at least. Hopefully, it's better. Uh, offline modules. So let's do you and put online. I am glad that they sort of walk you through to completely teach you how to do everything. Because the problem is, my <laughs> I went to do the mission and then my turret immediately turned off because my power node died on it. So I can't even turn it on. And as you guys can see, if I click on it, it'll say insufficient charges required. So I guess I got to wait for the market to sell me something like that. And we also have our air research. So hopefully whenever this is done, we're able to get it in a little bit better stance here. So that's going to it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.